What I want you guys to achieve is to use creativity to demonstrate an understanding of what social networking sites are. Now last week we spent most of the lesson looking at this, well, what are social networking sites? You gave me plenty of examples and then a few anecdotes about some of your interaction on these sites. But I'm going to do an activity with you in a minute that gets you not only just to tell me what they are, but actually use a little bit of creativity to link an image to what a social networking site is. All right. Get onto your netbooks, please. And can I get you to log on to StudyWiz, please? My name's Michael Lafferty. I've been teaching for 17 years. My official title is Director of the Year 9 Campus. My role is to oversee the program development and to really propel this program forward as much as possible with a real connectedness of classroom to, to the real world. All right, with that that we have on the board, who wants to take a risk? And before I explain, you explain to me what you think I want you to do. Because I'm going to ask Madison first in a minute, but the rest of you, you're not getting off lightly. What do you think I'm going to ask you to do? Hugo's going to be next. Madison, yes. Which photo best represents each networking site? Very good attempt. And a very good activity, actually. Didn't think of that. Well done. This morning I'll be having a, another staff member in my class, Ben Caruso. Ben's a first year teacher. He's teaching the same subject that, that I'll be teaching this morning, creating solutions. Ben, being a first year teacher, uh, will be developing his own style. So I'm hoping he can both get some new ideas and some, um, some insight into how to develop students and their thinking, as well as how to manage uh, a classroom as well. And I want you to write a statement about how you think <coughs> that image relates to social networking. All right, Lachlan, let's start with you. What do you think? Gossiping. Gossiping. Yeah, the hand over the face, the whisper. Ben, a very new subject called creating solutions that, that you've picked up on. Did you pick up anything in terms of sort of strategies that you thought might be beneficial for you yeah, to use? One strategy that I loved was actually when you were targeting students, you said, oh, I'll be asking you next, Madison. So you actually sort of, uh, rather than sort of putting the student right on the spot, you're sort of giving them about, you know, 30, 45 seconds to actually think of an answer. Yeah. So rather than asking the question and have them sort of feel like they can't answer it, you're actually yeah. giving them an opportunity to think so they're not as phased if you do single them out to okay. give a response. Who had something that was different, totally different thing? Who would focus on something different? Okay, Tim? Uh, I said the people you talk to on social networks are faceless, like you have no idea who they are. Fantastic. What a brilliant, close perceptive uh, response there. Faceless people, as many people are on social networking sites. Do you think there's anything that you can, you can take from, from that class into your own classroom? I think that was fantastic, particularly that one you used, uh, used with the photos as well and sort of getting those ideas, in particular the, the range of uh, perspectives as well. Um, we had, the, I think, the people in the circle ho uh, holding hands, so you had that one aspect of people thought it was like community and inclusion, mm. but then other people sort of gave that idea that it was a, a faceless environment. Yeah. So that was a really engaging as well, and the fact that you sort of teased the answer out of the students to get those two different perspectives that you'd obviously thought of beforehand, I thought mm. was really great as well. You didn't give it to them, you waited for the, uh, that answer to come to you, yeah. so as part of like creating solutions, they actually encouraging that thinking, uh, thinking, fostering that sort of mindset. I thought it was fantastic. And look, those sort of strategies are something I'd like to incorporate into my teaching. What teaching strategies do you use to develop students' critical and creative thinking skills? How can you support colleagues to select and try new resources and approaches to learning? <laughs>